Good evening, Arthur. Miss O'Shea. Are you okay, Reverend? I'm sober. If that's what you mean. I've been on quite a tear. Me and Mary Beth have been so worried about you. Uh, good evening. Girls, you have beautiful hearts. Hey, Bill. Really? Did you find much in the O'Driscoll's cabin? Know about that. We did all right out of it. But we care Just about no you. Just no comb. You seem very sad. My life took a turn for the worse when I took up with morphine and opium. How's it going? In a lot of pain. Can't do much work. What can you do? How did you get on, Herr Morgan? Fine. Our accounts are up to date. Side sacks, a lot of them. Good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's a pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. I know. Hey. Mr. Morgan! Yes, Miss Grimshaw. One of the girls saw that friend of yours, Mary Gillis, sniffing about. Mary? Yes. I never liked that woman, Mr. Morgan. Funny business. Smiling, boys. Come on. Life is actually pretty good. A hundred years ago, we'd have been indentured men. My people, peasants, starving in a field someplace. My mamas were you okay, in Lincolnshire. Jerry? My daddies were outside of Rotterdam. Okay. At least that's what they told me. The modern world is ugly but the old world was worse hello our job is to make a better 
Evening, Arthur. For ourselves. How are you? Not Covered from that we're... business in the hotel? Oh, yeah. So we're gonna hit that bank I told you about. In dreams. Seriously. And that hope. That hope begins now by being hopeful and happy. So cheer up! All of you, cheer up! You okay? Yeah, just fed up with all the pessimism around here. I hear you. So, a pavement, Arthur. The horseless carriage is a reality. In Germany. Hi, Reverend. I read about it in the newspaper. But now we're all driving. And flying, too, no doubt. Like a horse well enough to not want to give one up for a machine. Well, maybe the horse can ride in the carriage with you. <laughs> now that's an idea. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck, and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one. But I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town, and I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again. If you could spare me a little bit of your time, I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. Jose? You want to go hunting? What are you hunting? An elephant? <laughs> I wish. No. I saw a huge bear. One of the biggest I ever saw. I reckon nearly a thousand pounds. My God. But you need me to come with you. Of course. Let's go. Where are we heading exactly? Up near the Dakota River. Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. Oh, me too. It's been a rough couple of weeks. You need anything? I don't think so. I got all I need. Let's go, then. So you still ain't replaced Bodicea? Nah, I miss her. She was quite a horse. This one's okay, but ain't no Bodicea. I've been meaning to offload this big shire horse for a while now, unruly bastard. Where'd you get him? Some big, loudmouth bastard tried to rob me and was out riding, so I... Well, you know how it is. I see. Let's take him to Valentine. It's on the way, sort of. There's a decent dealer there. We'll unload him. You could buy yourself a new horse. Put your saddle on them. Let's get going. Okay. But well, I do kind of like this horse. There's nothing wrong with two horses. And the stables always have the best ones. Well, I guess you're right. Okay, see if you can get your leg over that brute. Easy, big fella. All right, let's head into town. 
and maybe stay out of the saloon this time. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. We're heading out. Might be gone a couple of days. They got a good range of horse tack at the Valentine stables. Some beautiful saddles. I used to have a real nice one. Yeah, what happened to that? Got stolen outside that saloon in Deer Creek. Ah, oh, I remember now. Just about. <laughs> that turned into a long day. Yes. Remember? Mac went crazy. Threatened to kill the whole town. And Davy was passed out so cold we left him there. Came back in the next day and he woke up and started right back drinking again. <laughs> God damn it! Uh, I miss those boys. Jenny, too. She had some spark, that girl. It must be pretty hard on Lenny. You could tell he was sweet on her. Well... Lenny and Jenny could never have worked. That's like Arthur and Martha, or Bill and Phil. <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right. Just feel a bit like our luck died with them, too. Nonsense. We'll be all right. Just need some money to get back on our feet. I hope so. You found a way to offload those Cornwall bonds yet? Not yet. They're still very hot. Need to be done right. I have a couple of leads I'm looking into. Don't let that big bastard get the better of you there, Arthur. Uh, he's all right. Yeah, okay, boy. There, boy. The stables are just up ahead. Welcome. All right. Go sell that big fruit and buy yourself a horse. Okay. I'm going off to the general store. Get a few things to lure that bear out with. <laughs> Meet you back here in a bit. Hey. How can I help you? I'm in the market for a new horse. Something strong and fast. Yeah, well, you're in the right place. I got some beauties in at the moment. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, what about this one here? Yeah, are you looking to sell? I show you. You got papers? No. No papers. Well, of course, that's gonna affect what I can pay. But your luck's in. I got a fella who's been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. He'll pay a good price. Otherwise, I can always stable them here for you. Here, take a look. Partner, you got yourself a deal. And a fine new horse. I hope so. Well, I don't sell anything other than good animals. You have my word on that. All right, let's see. So, mm, let's see. Here are your papers. And on me, a new grooming brush. And some treats. <laughs> Appreciate it. All right, you. You treat this fella well. I know he's gonna look after you just fine. Looks like a nice animal you got there. You happy? Guess we'll see. All right, let's get going. We got quite a ride ahead of us. Lead the way. So, what's this lake we're heading for? It's called O'Cray's Run. Up in the mountains, east of Cumberland Falls. I just hope I can remember how to get there. 
Back into the mountains? I sure didn't figure on that. At this time, we're doing the chasing. So how are things with you and John? Fine. Ain't it about time you let it go now? It was a year, Jose. He ditched us for a goddamn year. I've spoken to him many times. He knows he did wrong. He just wants to put it behind him. I'm sure he does. Running off on that kid is one thing, but there's code. He knows that. He ain't Trelawney. Dutch and you pretty much raised him. I know. But it's done. Has been for a while now. Nobody else would have been welcomed back that easy after that long. And you know it. Okay, I think we need to head right up here. Yes, I remember this place. Moonstone Pond. We're going the right way. Just lucky Lenny was with him. First time out of hiding his wanted man, and he gets tangled up with the law. To be fair, Arthur. Trouble has a habit of finding you, too. Yeah, but we run with our code. Always have. That don't mean nothing to him. Perhaps. But nothing's how it was right now. Look there. Rabbits. Maybe we should catch one to cook. Sure. Try and shoot one. You don't want to use anything too powerful on a small animal like that. Just ruin the meat. Best thing's a bow or a 22 caliber varmint rifle. I have hunted rabbits before, you know. Yes, and obliterated them with a shotgun, if I remember right. Good job. All right. It's getting late. Wreck we should camp here. Sure. Well, then you get a set up. Uh, I'm famished. Cook that rabbit, then. They're delicious on an open fire like this. Fine by me. <gasps> <gasps> You want some of this? No, I'm fine. I don't like eating this late. Okay. <laughs> After all that. All right. Well, we better get some rest. I want to be up at first light to find this monster. He better be worth all this drama. <clears throat> oh. 
morning, Arthur. You ready? Well, oh, give me a minute. Coffee? Sure. There you go. So, what's your plan? Well, we'll see if we can track him, but we might need to lay bait to draw him out. Bears like fish, obviously, but they also have a sweet tooth. A lot of fellas bait, then shoot from the trees, but I prefer to hunt on the ground. More dangerous. But we'll have a much better chance of getting good shot in. And if he bolts, we can start right off after him. Can you mix up this bait for me while I finish packing this up? Fish, berries. I tie it up in that rag when you're done. I hope you know what you're talking about. I grew up in the mountains, Arthur. I was virtually weaned on bear meat. Okay. I think I got this done. Good. Pack up and we'll get going. What's the hold up here? Okay. Let's go. Get you. We'll try our luck down by the water. That's where I saw him last. Okay. How's that horse treating you? So far, so good. You know, I was in this area with Bessie years ago. Really? I didn't know that. I imagine you still miss her. Every day. Did you two ever think about getting out of the lot? Uh, we did briefly. You don't remember? Guess you were still young. Didn't last long. I drifted back into it. She understood. She knew what I was. I remember you not being around for a while, but well, things were looser back then. Truth is, there's never really any getting out. And staying in, it's hard. You know that. But Bessie and I made it work. Why? You thinking about getting out? Me? No, of course not. Listen. If Dutch's grand plans work, and we can make enough money to go someplace new, really new, maybe we can all have a new start. Anyway, for now, let's try and chase ourselves a bear, shall we? Let's slip by the water here, see if he's been fishing again recently. Easy. Look for tracks, dung, bones, any sign of him. Well, there's some paw marks here, Jose. They sure look big enough. Good. Let's hope it's him. Can you tell which way he went? This way. The tracks go into those trees. Wait a minute. Something on the ground here. Half-eaten fish here. Must have been left by our friend, I reckon. Come on, see? Or anything else. Something else on the ground, just here. Take a look then. There she is here. Watch your step. Looks real fresh. Reckon he's gotta be close. Let's keep going. Looks like the trail ends here. <laughs> We lost him? For now. Uh, a little optimism, Arthur. Well, what do you think? I think we split up in each look. Either that or we could place bait here. That could work? Which do you think? Arthur? Let's split up. Okay. I'll head this way. You head down that track. Shoot 
that thing, please? Look out! Arthur! You're fine, old man. Of course I'm fine. It's, it's nothing. It's nothing at all. <laughs> Thank you. I think. <laughs> that was fun. <sighs> you know what, Arthur Morgan? I'm a little old and beaten up to be after the biggest game. You can have this. What is it? It's a map. A man in a bar gave it to me. Well, I stole it from him, but that's another story. <laughs> He said it, it told him where to find some real big animals. Thank you. It's a pleasure. You saved my life, Arthur. <laughs> I think I'm going back to camp to lick my wounds. <laughs> you coming, or you gonna track that monster? Well, you coming or not? I don't mind either way. I'm gonna stick around here for a while. <laughs> uh, I'll see you back at camp. Yeah! Oh! 